At a glance, the 2021 model here might end up defining an entire decade for Nissan on the international arena. It brings an all-new generation of the crossover CV model that contributes to a third of all sales. A new electric model is introduced, an anticipated refresh for the fan-favorite sports car is finally here, and the list goes on. You must get acquainted with all the newcomers, their prices and technical data. So subscribe to Automotive Territory Daily News and let's dive into the 2021 Nissan lineup. We start the engines now. Nissan Z Proto It has been 11 years since Nissan added a new nameplate to the Z series, and we have no doubts that the Z Proto gives us a preview of the next generation model, which is likely to be labeled 400Z. Sitting lower and being 5 inches longer than the current sports car, the coupe boasts a more elegant shape than the predecessor. The teardrop LED headlights and the bonnet profile are inspired by the original 240Z, while the glossy black panel that hides the taillights is a clear reference to the iconic 300ZX. The modern touches include a rectangular front grille, 19-inch alloy wheels and carbon fiber side skirts. The driver-centered cabin boasts a bespoke deep-dish steering wheel, a 12.3-inch digital dash and yellow accents on the seats. The Z-Proto gets a twin-turbocharged V6 mil, made it to a 6-speed manual, and its estimated horsepower output is around 400. Nissan Rogue Nissan's all-time best-selling crossover arrives with a much-needed generation update, which is intended to boost the Rogue in its fight against the latest Honda CR-V and Toyota RAV4. Featuring a more upright stance, the new model has a beefier V-motion grille with active shutters, split LED headlights, a floating roofline, and aggressive creases on the sides. Under the hood, the Nissan hides the updated version of its previous 2.5-liter inline four-cylinder. The factory-boosted mill now delivers 181 horsepower and 181 pound-feet of torque, which are transferred to the front wheels through the CVT transmission. Another appealing fact about the new Rogue is its extensive list of standard safety features, which are included into the Safety Shield 360 system and the optional ProPilot Assist with NaviLink that is enhanced by the new radar and camera tech. Nissan GTR 50 by Tal Design Based on the GTR Nismo, this bespoke version of the iconic sports car took Nissan and Atel Design more than two years to develop and perfect. When creating the GTR 50, the company split the tasks as follows. The Italian coach builder handled engineering and construction, while Nissan reworked the car's exterior and interior. The model received new LED lighting, prominent samurai blade cooling outlets behind the wheels, and adjustable rear wing. The twin-turbo 3.8-liter V6 was reworked to produce 720 horsepower and 575 pound-feet of torque, while the suspension was revised adding new Bilstein dampers. Intel Design also fitted the car with 21-inch carbon fiber wheels, Michelin tires, and Brembo brakes. By the end of 2020, the exclusive $1 million model is expected to start first customer deliveries, and only 50 units are slated for production. Nissan Maxima 40th Anniversary Edition In 2021, the longest-running Nissan nameplate in the US marks its 40th anniversary, and to celebrate this milestone, the company releases a limited-edition model. This four-door sedan starts with the Maxima's platinum trim and equips it with a few exclusive features. The car gets painted in a two-tone gray and black color scheme, rides on 19-inch gloss black alloy wheels, and comes with matching black exhaust tips 
and special anniversary patching. Under the hood, there is the usual 3.5-liter V6 engine that produces 300 horsepower and 261 pound-feet of torque. Inside the cabin, you will notice deep red semi-aniline leather, red interior stitching, and setting dark chrome accents. The anniversary edition also adds heated rear seats, while its dashboard replicates the white design of the 1995 Maxima that won Motor Trend's Import Car of the Year award. Nissan Aria If we were to start the countdown from the second-generation Nissan Leaf, the development of the first electric crossover took the company some time. But the result was definitely worth the wait. As expected, the series production Aria arrives built on a new specialized TV platform that allows for several drivetrain configurations. The entry-level model gets one electric motor and a 63 kWh battery so it is good for 218 horses. Opt for a bigger 87 kWh pack and you will get a 242 HP crossover with 277 miles of range. If performance is what you're looking for, Nissan also offers a two-motor version of the model. It gets the same batteries but can produce 306 ponies, 124 mph speeds and 0 to 60 acceleration times of 5.1 seconds. We should mention that both of the packs finally get liquid cooling. While inside, the crossover features the latest infotainment tech as well as the new ProPilot 2.0 driver assist. Do not forget that this episode is just a part of the entire playlist that covers 2021 lineups from all the international car makers. The links are waiting for you in the description and the end of the video. Smash the like button and let's keep going! Nissan Kicks The subcompact Nissan is a relatively new global model that made its debut just four years ago. Still, the brand decided to freshen up its looks while also making it more attractive thanks to the new hybrid drivetrain. The model starts with a more appealing exterior, fitting a larger V-motion grille, new headlights design, revised rear lights, and new wheels. The hybrid mill is represented by an electric motor that drives the front wheels and a small battery that is charged by a 1.2-liter three-cylinder. For now, the model was launched for a number of South Asian markets, but these changes will carry over to the North American kicks as well. Over there, the car is likely to keep the 1.6-liter four-cylinder with 122 HP, get updated infotainment with an 8-inch screen, and offer revised trim levels. Nissan Relief Since the production Leaf is not getting any changes this model here, Nissan is determined to showcase the hatchback's full capability with the new Ready for Anything Relief concept. Developed as an emergency response vehicle, the model is based on the top trim Leaf Plus with a 62 kWh battery, and additionally, it is fitted with a few exterior mounted power outlets. This turns the car into a mobile generator that can power an ICU medical vent for 24 hours while using just 5% of the battery charge. The Relief also becomes more off-road ready with higher ground clearance of 8.9 inches, new 17-inch Campomotive wheels and BF Goodrich Baja tires. Inside, the rear seats get thrown out to make more room for storage, and there is a new 32-inch LED operation hub with a dedicated power supply. Nissan Armada The Patrol moniker has been an integral part of the Nissan's international lineup for 70 years. The latest refresh for this model took place in 2020, and since it is basically the same SUV as the North American version Armada, we shall expect the similar changes to the latter and the upcoming model here. Therefore, expect both luxury and technology levels to be up to notch, while outstanding off-roading capability we're so used to is not going anywhere. Visual changes 
include a new V-Motion grille with a massive chrome frame and boomerang-shaped LED headlights. As standard, the new Armada shall come with a 4.0-liter V6 engine rated at 275 horses and 291 pound-feet of torque. In turn, the 5.6-liter V8 version with 400 HP and 413 pound-feet remains optional and could be equipped with hydraulic body motion control. The cabin gets better soundproofing, revamped central console, new diamond quilted leather seats and hand-stitched steering wheel. Nissan McKnight Say what you want, but in terms of design and innovation, Nissan looks much fresher on the rapidly growing Asian market rather than in the West. The upcoming B-Class SUV McKnight is yet another confirmation of this claim, and an important milestone in the Nissan's next global transformation initiative. The exterior looks vibrant as ever, with modern LED light package front and rear, L-shaped DRLs and a striking grille. The subcompact is making use of a turbocharged 1-liter turbo petrol engine paired to the CVT. Plus, a naturally aspirated mill installed on the Triber is likely to be marketed as an engine option as well. The Magnite goes all in on the interior tech by offering a 7-inch thin film transistor instrument panel, 8-inch infotainment with Android and Apple support, Nissan's 360-degree around view monitor and hill start assist. Will Nissan sales showcase an upward-growing trend after the introduction of these newcomers? What are your favorite models of 2021? Share with the world in the comments below. Proceed to exploring other Japanese car brands by following the links displayed on the screen. Subscribe to Automotive Territory Daily News and smash the like button until it turns blue. We'll see you later.